What's up fam, this is your girl Amanda and I'm coming back to y'all with Amanda Vlogs. So let's talk Suge Knight. So Suge has finally revealed after a long, long time, it's been well over 20 years, he has finally revealed who killed Tupac and he was saying that he was the actual target and not Tupac. And there has been so many speculations over the years that Suge Knight was the one who actually killed Tupac. Everybody's fingers were pointed at Suge. Suge hired some people to kill Tupac. And so it's just been so many different speculations. It's hard to believe who's telling the truth at this point. But Suge said that Reggie White Jr., which was the death row security at the time, and his ex-wife Sharitha, which is Suge's ex-wife, were behind the murder of Tupac and the attempted murder of himself. Basically, Suge is saying that Reggie and his ex-wife were supposed to kill him, but they killed Tupac instead, which does not really make sense to me because if you were going to kill Suge, how all the damn bullets ended up in Tupac? Tupac was shot four times. Not one freaking bullet hit Suge. He got bullet fragments and that was about it. As I digress, and Suge's attorney, Thaddeus Culpepper, said that Suge has known for many years that Reggie and his ex-wife were behind the murder of Tupac and the attempted murder of himself. Suge also revealed details of Reggie's involvement in Biggie Smalls' murder as well. And he always refused to identify the shooters, but now there is a documentary on Tupac, which is called Tupac Assassination, Battle for Compton. So he recently revealed all these findings for this documentary. So has Suge turned over a new leaf on life while he's sitting up in the jail, sitting up in the jail, damn near right. So now he wants to go ahead and reveal things about this whole shooting, which to me, it doesn't add up to me. What he just said about his ex-wife and Reggie was targeting him, but they shot Tupac, that doesn't make sense to me. But I digress. Richard Bond, which is the co-director of the documentary, said that when the book came out and they were in the works of making the movie, they gave points of the book to Thaddeus, who read it to Suge, and they said that Suge's initial response was, who the hell are these guys? And he admitted to Thaddeus that the theories of the movies were true. It was said that Suge was so intrigued that the directors knew all this about this movie that he sent private investigators to discover how the writers and directors found out what happened. The documentary also claims that Suge had always been the real target of the fatal shooting and Tupac was just in the way which does, still doesn't make sense to me. Like the person who shot him was a bad target, was a very bad target. Basically the documentary is attempting to explain what led up to the shooting of Tupac in Las Vegas in 1996. And according to the directors of the documentary, they got a signed affidavit from Suge's attorney confirming that everything in their book and movie is true. Suge's attorney said that not only did Knight confirm the events as portrayed in Compton, which portray Suge was the intended target and Tupac was collateral damage as true, but also goes on to allege that these 1996 may have been the first in a history of attempts on Suge's life, culminating in the recent attempted killing of Suge at the One Oak Club in Los Angeles, where Suge was shot six times. And Suge must got nine lives because Suge has been shot so many damn times and still survived. I swear on everything, this Negro must be on his seventh life because he has been shot numerous of times and survived every last one of them. One of the directors, Richard, said that he believes that Suge is ready to make a statement about Tupac's murder because it proves that he has been a target of gangs out to get him for years. But Suge put himself in that situation. Suge has done some low down shit to a lot of people. So yeah, I believe he brought a lot of this onto himself because he started it and he's done some low down shit to a lot of people. And that's just my thoughts. 
honestly think that he's speaking out now because he, in my thoughts he's thinking that this will help his case because like Richard said he wanted to make a statement because this proves that he has been the target of these gangs for these many years but he has been the cause of this stuff so he thinking that him speaking out now may help him in his case and that may lower his sentence and maybe he can get out a little quicker. Because y'all know he has been in jail since 2015. He killed Terry Carter and he injured Clebone Sloan. He ran both of them over at this burger joint in California, I believe. And so he's been in jail ever since then. So he may think this is gonna help his case. But I honestly do not believe him when he said that Reggie and his ex-wife were trying to kill him, but they killed Tupac instead. I don't believe that. I really do not believe that at all. I do believe that Tupac was the intended target and Suge wasn't. And that's my thoughts and that's my opinions. You can agree or you can disagree with that. And right now Suge is dealing with karma. He was dealing with some bad karma because he has done some low down shit in his lifetime and he's sitting in jail right now because he deserves to be in jail he deserves it i know at one point he was trying to get out because he had blood clots or something like that no you did the crime you paid the time boo boo you sit your ass up in that jail and you take that take that ill okay <laughs> and his ass might just say anything just to get out of jail his ass is old now sugar's what 50 like you 50 years old sitting in jail i think about should waiting over 20 years to say that reggie white which was the security of death row records at the time and his ex-wife were the ones who killed tupac and that he was the actual target but they ended up killing tupac <laughs> what do y'all think about this whole situation just let me know down below your whole thoughts about this and y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. Bye.